Hello, today I'm going to show you how to time block in Notion. So this time blocking technique is very similar to time blocking in a spreadsheet where you have times on one side in intervals of a half an hour, the days of the week up top, and then filling everything in columns that correlate with the time. I've always wanted to do this with Notion. I've always wanted to view a whole week in time blocks and to put different tasks or different things into an entire week. I haven't been able to do it, or I didn't really try to do it in Notion because I assumed it wasn't really gonna work, but I figured it out today. And I also figured out how I can relate that timetable, that time block into a tasks database. So for instance, if in my time block, it says write content, I can find a task from my tasks list that can correlate with write content and I can sort of visualize them together. So I'm gonna stop talking about it and actually show you how it works here. Also, don't mind me being very shiny because it is 100 degrees where I live and it's I can't do anything about it. <laughs> so let's go into this timetable. So first, this timetable is, like I said, it's times right down the side here. We have 6 a.m., 6.30, 7 a.m., 7.30. As well, um, we have the days of the week up here, Monday through Sunday, and I made them select properties. You could also make them multi-select properties if you want to do more than one thing in each time block, but I just have one. I'm literally sweating like I can't even tell you. This is going to be a gross video to watch. So now I was wondering, like, how do I put this into my to-do list? So I go over here, go to my planner. Up here is my to-do list. It's very, very simple. It is in calendar view. And I really just put tasks in for each day. Like I don't really do much here. And this is what I've always used inside of Notion. I've never done anything really fancy with my to-do list because I never really like to. But here I have usually just the priority. I have everything from something I should do in my free time to a low priority task, to a moderate priority tasks, all the way down to urgent. Then I'll have the date. That's usually where I kind of want to get it done. That's the day I want to get it done. I don't really call it a deadline because it's not necessarily something I have to get done that day. However, if it is something I have to get done that day, I'll do something like this where I'll add a time at the end. So I'll do a date range and go, well, I actually really want this done on this particular day at 6 p.m. And I'll put maybe a note here, extremely time sensitive. But that's pretty much what I do here. I also have a little checkbox for complete. So I wanted to relate this timetable to this task list. This is how I've kind of figured it out. So what I did is I created relation properties that correlated with each day of the week. So we have Monday, Tuesday went all the way down to Sunday. So I created a little M task, T task, W task for each day of the week. And I related it to directly to my task database up top. And I'll scroll through here and see which correlates with Monday at 6 a.m. So for instance, if I go over to Thursday, task seven, I'll see that I probably should get this done on Thursday. It's a low priority. I kind of want to get it done on Thursday as well. It looks like on Thursday I have for writing content a little time block here for something that's more easy. This is about an hour of work. Let's see if I have any urgent tasks. Looks like I have an urgent task that's easy but important that's due Thursday at 7 p.m. So I'm going to prioritize task six. I'm going to come back down here to our tasks. I'm going to put, which one is it? Task six in the first block of writing content in the morning. So I'll just look for task six, put it in there, put it in there again for this entire block. 
oops, put it in the wrong one. Task six, cool. Now if I go up to task six up here, I'm gonna see Thursday, I need to get this done 8.30 a.m. to about 10 a.m. Same goes for this easy task up here, task seven. I'll put that down here. I have another block to write content between 2.30 and 3.30. So let's put task seven there. Okay, so now we have everything sort of blocked out like that. Again, if I go to task seven, it'll tell me Thursday. I should be doing this between 2.30 and 3.30 p.m. I thought this was great because I'm someone that doesn't really like a whole crap ton of relations. So I was a little nervous trying to figure out how to relate an entire timetable that's in 30 minute intervals, that's a lot of pages, into another database. It scared me because I assumed in my mind that I was going to relate every single time. You don't have to do that, which is exciting for me because I've been really trying to figure this out. So let's actually look at my to-do list while we're here. So like I said, I've been using this since the beginning. I've been using this calendar, not this particular one, but a calendar since maybe last September when I started using Notion. And it's plain and simple. It's just a list of tasks every single day with a little priority. I actually didn't even have a priority select option in the beginning. I didn't really start implementing that until recently. So I'll have my monthly view, shows the whole month. Then I'll show the next seven days, including today. And I'll just do a little filter up here for people who don't know how to do this where I say dates is within the next week or dates is today. I also have a yearly view where upon each task, I will select the month that is in so that it will populate in my yearly view, like right here. This is in June and July. So if I go to my yearly view, everything for this example, will populate in June and July so far. So let me show you high priority. So I also have the same as the next seven days and today that filter is still there, but also I make sure only high priority and urgent tasks that are due within the next week or today show up in this view. And I call this high priority seven days. So that's really it. I'm usually in this next seven days view though. Okay, so let's actually maybe put in another one. Um, let's put in Friday, put in task eight and task nine. It looks like task nine is, in my opinion, just something I'm gonna do during my free time and isn't really necessary for work or projects I'm working on or anything like that. It's probably a hobby. So let's figure out where we can put task nine in, in Friday. Friday looks like I have a lot of me time, I call it. So I'll probably put task nine at the very first part of this, task nine. Probably just do it for maybe an hour and a half. It's flexible though. There we go. What else do I have to do? I need to do task eight of medium priority and it's probably content I have to write. So just do that first thing in the morning. And there we go. And this whole thing will kind of fill up during my weekly assessment. So every Sunday I will go in and kind of plan my week. I don't like planning with time blocks traditionally um, so this is going to be a first for me. I usually don't like such strict uh, blocks of time to do very specific things. It stresses me out. I end up not doing things because of it. But I think with this setup, 
it kind of makes me excited to use this. I know it works for a lot of people. I'll keep you updated if it does work for me. You can follow me on Twitter to see about that. Put a link down below. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be using from now on. So I'm going to leave a link to this down below, this exact setup. I'm also going to leave a link to this timetable template. I just have a template for this timetable without the relation columns. So if you just want a timetable, kind of a classic timetable, you can go ahead and look at that. I also have a template for my to-do list. I wrote a little article on it yesterday, and you can also check that out. But other than that, I think that's enough for this little video. It is very hot. My computer is going to erupt in flames. And I'm sorry for sweating. I'll see you next time.